bit of unboxing and review. So this is a product that admittedly was sent to me by the company to like test out and review for you guys. This is by a brand called Shidu, S-H-I-D-U, and it's their original voice amplifier. They have a bunch of different models of these, but this is the one that retails for like $59 on Amazon. I'll provide a link down below. Um, on the back, we've got, it's a loudspeaker, it's got USB and micro SD capabilities, auxiliary, original sound, features, Shido patented appearance, stylish ergonomic and comfortable design, built-in high fidelity magnet speakers, light durable and wear resistant ABS plastic housing, built-in high performance and large capacity lithium battery. Strong anti-jamming technology enabling simultaneous use of several amplifiers. Oh, okay. Uh, supports TF card and USB flash drive for playing MP3 audio file. And it's technical parameters. Frequency response, 90 megahertz, or is it just hertz or megahertz? I think it's hertz. 90 hertz to 18,000 hertz. Working temperature, negative 10 Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Input signal, wireless or wired uh, microphone. So applications, suitable for teachers, tour guides, clergy, public speakers, uh, lecturers, exercise instructors, presenters, promoters, coaches, outdoor activities, meetings, classrooms, large auditoriums, indoor and outdoor sports venues. So this thing basically can go really loud. Um, I really have not used it yet. So far we're going to do the unboxing to start with. Then I'm going to need to charge it. And then I'll film testing it out. I'm so nervous that it's going to squeal at me though. I'm like, oh, please don't let it. Um, so first thing we see in the box is actual amplifier device itself. This is a bit bulky, admittedly. Like, it's it's got some heft to it. So, uh, it does have these little clips here that, um, it comes with a strap for it, but it also has this clip-on thing. You can hook it to your belt, so, like, you could stick it on your hip or, like, on your butt, wherever it need be. Uh, we've got, let's see, over here... DC 5 volt. So in here we have the inputs for the microphone and also for... what the hell is that? There's like a micro USB jack in there I think is what that is. I think that's where you charge it from. Like I'm a total noob with this. Here's our little LCD uh, display. Micro SD USB auxiliary. So in here yeah, and here's where you can plug in the actual USB as well as the micro SD card, and then maybe this is where it charges from. One of these is where the microphone goes. I think this one, okay. So that jack is for the microphone, that jack is for charging. Got it. Okay. Now that we've got that established. But yeah, this thing feels sturdy and rugged as shit. And allegedly it's waterproof, but I'm not feeling brave enough to test that, so just know that they claim it. I won't be testing that functionality of it, but they do claim that it's waterproof. And then it has buttons on the top that admittedly you do have to press down kind of hard to get them to do anything. But we've got M for mode, we have the backwards and forwards buttons, which also apparently are what you use for the volume control. We have play, pause, and power in that middle, as well as the microphone button down at the end. So those are all the buttons. It also comes with the manual. Also comes with the headset, which I haven't even taken out yet to properly look at or try on. So we're testing this out together. Ooh, okay, so... I want to undo this just enough so it's not in the way while I'm trying it on. Okay. Does it have... okay. I was like, is there a button on this? No, there's not. So, this is not a headphone. It's just a headset, so it can go on your ear and everything. I'm trying to find where is the best position for this. Is it behind the ear? 
yeah okay so I think clips time here and then this is very bendy for the actual mouthpiece of it you just angle it as you will yeah something something approximately like that most likely um, if that's not close no oh oh okay <laughs> uh, maybe it is for in front of the ear let me I'll take my glasses off for a second here it's a bit of a learning curve, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, okay, so for me, it feels like it's too small if I put it in front of the ears, even though it's like closer to the mouth. So I think it must be either on ear, which still feels like it's gonna slide. Up. Yeah, it's gotta be for like hooking right behind the ear. It has to be like right back there, like right behind. Because otherwise, this makes zero amount of sense, and you just bend wherever. You don't want it literally too close to your mouth anyway, since you'll get like every pop and hiss and everything. I will say for this, this wire, this adjustable wire for the microphone, doesn't exactly stay put where you want it real well. It's kind of flimsy feeling, so. Hopefully that's not going to be too big of an issue while actually in use. Maybe it helps with that back there now. Okay. Let's see. No, I got that out of my way. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, my hair is a mess. I'm aware. But we're not here to critique that. <laughs> okay, glasses back on. So it comes with your microphone headset. Here is, if you want to wear it on a strap. You can take this bad boy, one clip here, one clip here, and you can either carry it around, stick it over your dang shoulder, adjust it, make it higher or lower. I mean, for me, I'm short, so this is already to right here on me just as is, straight from the word go. Um, I'm like getting serious 90s kids vibes since Catholic school I went to for all of elementary and middle school. Um, all the morning announcements done outside, they had like a little, like, portable, little, uh, voice amplifier, kind of like this. And they did carry it around on a strap like that, so I'm having serious flashbacks to that. Then we've got some more wires in here. We've got one of these. We've got our USB and mini USB over here. And then we have our power adapter. So one of these is self-explanatory. The other one, I'm not entirely sure. So... Let us consult the manual. This is the upgraded version. Please read the instructions carefully before using it. That makes sense. Note, before turn on the amplifier, ensure that the mic doesn't point at the amplifier. This will eliminate any annoyance associated with howling. For ensure better amplification, aim at the headset mic capsule when speaking and keep the distance between the voice amplifier and the mic more than 60 centimeters to avoid howling. So that strap, for me, is probably not long enough where it's currently set. I should probably let it hang down further. Okay. Features. Two color injection molding IPX5 waterproof. Well, uh, mine is just all black, so no, it is not two color. Shidu acoustic amplification electroacoustic system with loud and clear voice, equipped with Bluetooth 4.2 cloud control to support for synchronous teaching material through internet. Oh, okay. High capacity 3.7 volt 4400 megahertz lithium ion battery, supports TF card and USB flash drive play, supports power bank function for emergency charging. Okay. The charging time is 3 to 5 hours, the amplify time is 10 to 12 hours, music play time 8 to 10 hours. How to use! Step 1. Charge the speaker. Please turn the speaker off and charge it timely when it's low battery with voice prompt low battery please charge. Please charge through the micro USB cable with DC 5 volt output 
adapter. Okay, so we know what that one's for now. Note, we suggest fully recharges before your first use. Two, all functions will stop when charging. Three, please unplug the charger after it is fully charged. Oh, and then we have the function illustration before we move on to the next parts. So, the first thing they have is the power switch and play and pause, which is this guy right here in the middle. A, press the button for three seconds to turn on or off. B, in music playing mode, short press to pause, short press again to play. Two, previous volume. So... That guy to the left. In music playing mode, short press for previous song, long press for music down. Three is the next and volume up. In music playing mode, short press for next song, long press for volume up. Four is the mode key. Short press M to select a working mode. Bluetooth, USB flash drive, TF card, auxiliary UHF only suitable for the UHF version. I don't know that this is the UHF version, so that may be a moot point here. Number five, where the microphone is, is for recording. Oh, okay. So I guess that would also be if you had like a USB card in there. Number six. Let's see, where is number six? It's in here. It's the microphone jack is what goes on that side. I was correct about that. Insert the wired microphone in any mode to amplify with current mode simultaneously. To avoid howling, please do not point the microphone toward the speaker. There is no wired mic in the wireless version. Well, this is not that version, so we have a wired mic. <laughs> Um, number seven is the DC 5 volt charging port, which is in the same spot, and that would be pretty self-explanatory. That was the little micro USB. Number eight is the auxiliary input. Oh, that's what our other wire is for. Okay. When switched to auxiliary mode, you can play audio files via audio cable connected to the computer mobile phone or MP3 or MP4. But like, I thought we had Bluetooth mode, so I thought you could just play through your phone. Maybe it's a lying kind of a product. <laughs> we'll play with it, we'll find out. Nine is the LED screen, only displays, or only displays battery level. So good to know, this will not display anything but the battery level. Number 10 is your USB slot to insert and play USB flash drive and to work as a power bank. What? Number 10. Oh! Oh, okay. I see what they're saying. I got confused for a second. Number 11 is the TF card slot. Insert the TF card to play MP3. It is compatible with most brands. The maximum capacity is 32 gigabytes. That's not very big. Note, it may be unreadable when the file is large or complex. Okay, so we already read how to charge it. So two is loop. When playing music on TF card or USB flash drive, long press M key for three seconds and switch to single song repeat. Long press M key for three seconds again to switch to all repeat. Notes, speaker will be all repeat by default after powered on next time. Recording supports wired mic recording. Make sure that the USB flash disk or TF card has been inserted, then plug the wired mic into the mic port. Short press the microphone key to record. Short press it again to stop recording. It will automatically play the present recording files. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I mean, it's good, but it's also annoying. Uh, the recording files will be saved automatically into the USB flash disk or TF card. Play recording. Long press the microphone key in MP3 playing mode. Step four, Bluetooth instructions. That's what I want. Please pair with your Bluetooth device as follows. Step one, switch on the amplifier and press uh, the mode key. They, they only have the quotation marks there without telling you what key, but I did reach out to the company to ask what button is it, because it literally doesn't say. It's the mode key. 
So the mode key to enter Bluetooth mode. The Bluetooth mode is ready with voice prompt. Bluetooth is waiting for connection. Step two, turn on the Bluetooth function of your mobile phone and search SDM800. Click and it will be connected successfully with a voice prompt. Bluetooth is connected. Step three, when playing music, please keep close to the amplifier to keep the signal stable. If distance is too far, more than 10 meters, the Bluetooth will be disconnected. Well, that's true of Bluetooth in general, so. All right, so then the UHF wireless microphone does not apply to us, I don't think. Let me look at it. Yeah, no, this has none of those buttons. This is not the UHF version, so we don't need to read that. It's not wireless. So we've got volume control. If the amplifier is howling or in small volume, adjust the volume by pressing plus or minus on the wireless microphone. Oh wait, that's again for the other version. This does not have those anywhere. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see here. Troubleshooting. Turn on the power switch, but the amplifier has no sound. Turn the volume up on the voice amplifier and also on the microphone. Again, ours doesn't have it on the microphone, so just on the unit. No response after any operation. Please press and hold the power for 10 seconds to reset the speaker and power it on again. Troubleshooting. Number two. Talk to the wireless microphone, but amplifier has no sound. Please confirm both the voice amplifier and microphone is powered on. Please confirm whether the wireless microphone has been paired with the amplifier. Well, again, it is the plug-in kind, so no pairing needed. The voice amplifier has distinct howling. Wear the microphones correctly. Put the microphone in front of the mouth. In a small room, please turn down the volume to avoid properly avoid howling. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do when I test this out to actually talk into it and see what it sounds like, I'm going to go outside with it phone's ringing, I'll be right back. Okay, so as I was saying, I'll go outside with it, just in case it makes any horrific screeching noises, like I'm so scared it will. I'll see how it does, and then I'll go from there of if I'm going to film the segment of the voice functionality being used as a speaker that way, out there, or if it's safe to do it in the house, because I honestly don't know, volume-wise, what that's gonna look like going into it kind of terrified because I don't know what its base level volume is just turning it on so we're gonna find out um and then I'll pair it with the bluetooth on my phone and I'll show you guys what the bluetooth functionality looks like for sound quality of playing music through it I'll like use some copyright free music from the youtube studio the audio library I think that'll be a good way to show off like its capabilities since sure anyone can talk into a microphone but that doesn't really show off what the speaker quality is like and honestly for me i'm probably going to find more use out of this as a speaker let's be real but it's good knowing that the capability is there if i should need it for a microphone so i will come back after it's all charged up not sure if it'll be today because i do have to go to work today but um when you're watching this, this will all be edited together, but I'm just speaking in the moment, but I'm not sure if it'll be today or tomorrow, but yeah, should be happening soon, just saying. Okay, so I decided not to go outside after I, I played around with this a little bit. Um, I don't think I need to go outside with it, plus it's nighttime now, so um, I will show you, though, some things I have noted with it. So when you first turn it on, it does this. It's pretty loud, you know? Alright. Bluetooth is connected. Alright, it's connected, huh? Then we are gonna go over here to the YouTube for some royalty free music. That's the default. Yeah. Let's turn it down some. Let's turn it down some, just so you can see, you know. But every time you turn it on, it resets to that same volume, and it's crazy. Um, I kind of wish that it weren't quite so loud when you first turn it on, if I were being totally honest with you. I mean, this is just royalty-free music by me. It gives you kind of an idea of sound quality. 
it goes very loud. I'm not turning it up all the way. It's like late at night. I cannot get away with turning it all the way up. But this is a lower volume for this, just so you're aware. It's so, okay. I'm going to hit pause on that since there's no point playing the whole track. We're not here for that. <sighs> so, nervousness. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this thingy on. I'm going to talk through it. I'm going to hold it far away from me while I do it to hope that it's not going to screech and squeal at me. So far I've been good at it not doing that, but hopefully now that the camera's on it won't decide to do some stuff. Okay. All right. Can you guys hear that? That's with it on a low volume. Just saying. You can definitely hear it loud and clear. You can imagine just how loud this thing goes when you turn it way up, which we are not going to do. <laughs> so just so you can hear that, yeah, it is, it's actually got quite a bit of volume to this bad boy. Just saying. Okay, so <laughs> just to make sure we don't get a little too close to it with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back off now. And that's the music that it plays when it goes off. Now, as you can see, here's our little display. Well, you saw the display before it turned off, before I powered it down where it said 100 on it. That's your battery meter on there, which is really cool. I like that it does that. Um, straight out of the box. It was actually most of the way charged from the word go. It was at like 86% or something. But yeah, so now that we've tested it in action, I'm going to go back to my actual room and finish this up. Okay, so ultimately my thoughts on this device, um, they're kind of mixed because I feel like for what it was originally intended for, sure, it does do that really well, but there's room for improvements. Um, it does hold a really long battery life on it, which is fabulous. It's a bit slow to charge, but you know, they, they can't all be fast charging. Um, I feel like if the headband piece on the microphone were adjustable, I feel like that would go a long way in getting the microphone to actually fit correctly without having to manually hold it closer to your mouth to get it to actually pick up your voice clearly and crisply every time. So that, I would say, could be done better. Um, the buttons for me are honestly the biggest complaint of how hard you have to press them down to get them to do the thing and to be responsive and how long you have to hold them to get them to do a thing. I just... We're in 2021. Like, it shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> there there should be an easier way than this, you know? Um, I frankly just feel like that is its biggest Achilles heel out of everything. And for the price they charge for it, why they didn't do that better, I'm not quite sure. Is it a deal breaker? No, but... Is it an annoyance? Yes. Uh, but on the other hand, I mean, if you're walking around doing a lecture or something, you don't want something that's going to accidentally hit buttons without meaning to either. So I do see both sides of this. But for the average layperson, it doesn't need to be that hard, you know? Maybe have a second set of buttons as an option. I don't know. I don't know. And the other point worth noting, I feel like... The quality you get for your speaking voice through it, it, it's fine and clear and well for that. But when you use it as a speaker to play music through, sure, it plays fine. It sounds all right. Is it like the highest quality portable speaker on the planet? Hell no, because it wasn't intended to be that primarily. It's that secondarily to get more use out of a thing you already have, and I appreciate that it has a dual purpose for that, because yeah, I'm probably going to use it more for that than anything when I'm out near the pool. But um, for the same price that this thing costs, if you're, into, if you're in the market for just a dedicated speaker, you can definitely find one with better sound quality for playing music through than that. But if you want a dual purpose device like this, this isn't bad. Honestly, it's not bad, and for the price, 
you're probably not going to find ones with much better sound quality than this for the price. It's actually pretty reasonable, so I kind of have lukewarm feelings on this one. It's not great. It's definitely not the worst. It's just kind of middle ground, in my opinion. I'm sure the company is not going to be thrilled with me being this brutally honest, but, you know, this is a review. This is not just a kiss-ass PR video. I am giving my honest opinions, so. Anyways. That's it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.